Hey everybody, this is Scott with Starkey Family Fixing and Rigging Up. And uh, I have a little problem, as you can see. My grass is like really high right now. And I haven't been able to cut it because, well, I had some problems getting blades for my Dixie Chopper that uh, everyone's carrying that are actually residential blades that you never want to use on a Dixie Chopper because when they shatter, they will be like bullets coming out the side of your deck. So it actually took me a little bit to find commercial grade blades for my uh, lawnmower. So I ran into a problem with that also. I got on eBay and the person that I bought my blades through they ended up taking five days before they decided to ship them. So needless to say, between all the rain and everything going on, I've been trying to get blades for my lawnmower for over three weeks now. Actually, it's been closer to four weeks. And as you can see, my yard shows. This is like really bad. So anyways, I got my blades in. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox them and make sure that we got the right blades for one. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to change lawnmower blades on a Dixie Chopper. So let's get this video rolling. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on. Okay, so this is my 2008 Dixie Chopper. As you can see, it is commercial. This is a Silver Eagle 60 inch cut. But this thing has doll blades on it. So we got to take care of that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get your blocks lined out. You can see I've got blocks beside each tire. Then you need your jack. Now I was going to tell you, this right here is just rubber. And anything rubber you can put under here, it'll protect the frame from being uh, damaged. You know, that way it won't be uh, getting rusty or anything like that. So what we're going to do is, we're just going to jack this up. Make sure you block your back tires all also, which I have done. Make sure that you uh, set your parking brake. Okay, so I've got the lawnmower safely up on blocks. So before we crawl underneath, I'm going to show you what the blades look like that we're going to be using. Okay, so I haven't even looked at the blades yet to see what I bought to make sure that they actually even came in correctly. So let me cut these open while holding the camera. Okay. Let's see here. Everything looks good. And as you can see, there's a really thick blades. So I got what I wanted. These are actually high lift blades and these are commercial blade you, blades. You can tell by how thick they are. If they were residential, they'd be paper thin. Okay. So the lawnmower blades are verified. Let's go ahead and uh, get the old ones off. Now, before we start this job, you're going to notice that I have my blades laying on the floor underneath of my mowing deck. Now, I have done this before, and I have put my blades on backwards. So that was many years ago. I've done that once. I will never do it again. And here's why. Lay your blade out underneath your mower and match it up in the direction that your lawnmower blades are actually facing. So like this one here, for example, 
just match the same thing up onto the floor. That way when you go to put your new blade on, you're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to use my impact to take this blade off because it's going to be stuck on there. But I wanted to tell you, the bolt that you're taking out, make sure that you use uh, anti-seize on that. Because the next time that you change your blade, you want to be able to get it out. If you don't do it, then, well, that's your fault. Okay, so this is a 15 16 now you're going to hear the air compressor come on as I'm doing this, but keep in mind I do have the garage door shut, so I did block a lot of the sound out. Okay, so there's one. So. Got some spacers here that we got to take off. Okay, so I wanted to show you this. Here's the bolt. Here is a plastic spacer and its job is to keep everything together just in case this thing were to fall apart on you so this right here gets hand screwed on just like this okay and then we have a metal spacer metal spacer and then let's go ahead and put the anti-seize on here Just going to put a generous mount on there. And then you're just going to take this, put it up there, hand thread it in a little bit. Okay, and now we're going to use the impact and put it back on. Okay, so all we're going to do is repeat the same process. On the center blade. Okay, so you got two spacers here. You just kind of knock them on the floor, and then you have the plastic retainer, which actually did come out this time. We got the blade. Okay, so we got the lawnmower blade. anti seize plastic retainer and spacers and you just screw this up in here with your hand okay now that's holding So now we're on the third one. Okay, same thing. Take the retainer. Metal spacers. There's the bolt. I'll be right back. I forgot my indices. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Can't forget that, can we? Okay, that was back on. So now we're going to screw the bolt back up in here. And now we're going to pack it back in there. Okay, so we're all done underneath here. So let me jack this mower up, pull the blocks out, and put it back on the floor. And I'll be right back. I'm Scott with Starkey Family, fixing and rigging up. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I hope you've learned something. I hope if you've never changed blades on your mower before, now you know how to do it. And you actually go through and do it yourself and save yourself a lot of money. There's no reason to take your units out to a shop to have new blades installed. There's no reason at all. Unless if you don't own any tools. But the price that you would pay a shop to change your blades out, even at that, you could go out and buy the tools that you need to actually change the blades yourself. So, anyways, I'm going to hop off here. I got some grass to mow. I will see you guys later, and you guys will see me in my next video. Have a good one.